day. Um, it's definitely not sugarcoating nothing. It definitely was a disaster. It definitely opened up um, a lot of people's eyes, especially people who are colored, such as black people and Hispanic people. It definitely opened up their eyes. Um, white supremacy, unfortunately, exists. Um, we do live in a white America. We've all known this. It's just, unfortunately, nobody's really ever spoken about that topic, especially on a social media platform. But now, now more than ever, white America definitely exists. And there's definitely no hiding again no more. It's all, it's all in the proof of all the recordings that we saw, all the pictures inside of the Capitol. Um, the police opening up the barriers to allow the people inside. Pe police not handcuffing, not shooting. They're doing. They're running away from these rioters. Um, it's it's definitely saddening to see. It's definitely the sad truth. Um, and we can only just sit here, hope and pray that better days are coming for people who have a, a color of race. Mm -hmm. And then do you believe that this will affect future elections? Why or why not? Most definitely. It definitely will affect, especially um, on the Republican side, um, because, you know, obviously there's stereotypes that a lot of Republicans are against racist and stuff like that. And now it's kind of hard to ignore that fact now, since our president, um, who's still in office, unfortunately, is, is a Republican and he is not deny white supremacy on any platforms whatsoever, especially during the presidential debate. Um, so this definitely will affect, but mostly on the Republican side more than ever. But moving forward, absolutely. Absolutely. This definitely will affect future um, voting. Okay. And does this affect your personal view on U.S. democracy? Absolutely. Um, I'm not that big into politics. I only got big into politics because of Donald Trump. Um, for what he did, all the morals that he believes, unfortunately, I don't agree with them whatsoever. So before him, I never was big into politics whatsoever. But now more than ever, I am, unfortunately, because of him. Um, so this definitely, you know, affects me going forward from my political views. Okay. And then any further, anything you'd like to see in, the, in future generations, anything you would hope to see um, after what happened yesterday? We're already on the right track. We're, believe it or not, we're already on the right track because um, now more than ever, our generation specifically, we are a very outspoken generation. We're not afraid to voice our opinions. Um, we have now a president coming in who's had experience already uh, in, them, in politics for 50 plus years, give or take. And then now we have a woman in office, which is phenomenal. Not only that, but a colored woman in office, which adds more power um, to us um, as a nation. Um, so we're already on the right track and we can only hope that whatever Joe Biden and Kamala Harris do, that it becomes a positive domino effect from uh, future generations to come.